Hi, I'm Mike Massimino, and welcome to another episode of Inside the International Space Station. Anybody there? there? Yeah, they're, they're yeah. still there. We could talk to them directly through the intercom. We closed the hatches the night before. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking to I two of so. my buddies. These two guys making fun of me behind my, behind my back over here, over my shoulder. Uh, my two friends, uh, Ron Garin and Mike Fossum, spent about four months in space together, uh, and they're here to talk to us today about their adventures. Guys, thanks Hey, for man. Coming. It's good to see you, man. How are you? Hey, Mike. All right, so Mike arrives, and then how much later was, uh, was 135, what? the last shuttle flight? About three, four weeks? Four or five, four five, a few weeks, yeah. So what was that like for you guys, both work-wise and emotionally? It's a well, very historic... Uh, the run-up to it big was deal. huge. It okay. Was, you know, it was, we, we, we got there, and it's like, hi, glad to see you. We got a lot of work to do. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So we call it the road to 135. Okay. You know, the next, the next flight. And it's all of the things that have to be done. And we had a, a conference with our uh, flight director, Ed Van Seis, who was responsible for leading us through, you know, this, mm-hmm. uh, this historic time. Mm-hmm. And, and he says, guys, we've, we have all these things we have to do, and each one of them has to be done on the day we have it scheduled. Mm-hmm. And so don't, we're not telling you to work late, but they all have to be done because we don't have a day to slip them to. Right. Okay. So. Okay, we understand. So let's, right. uh, let's start pedaling right. harder. So, and so there was, it's just busy. It's getting everything ready. It was, it was getting everything pre-packed that had to go home. Okay. And we're trying to free up space because they were bringing a large, you know, cargo carrier in the back of the shuttle, and uh, and and we were we had we looked around and said we don't have room for a big cargo carrier worth of stuff mm-hmm. in here. Where are we going to put all this stuff? Right. And so that was we're trying to clean. So you out. had to make yeah. So oh yeah, kind of like a garage sale. Really? Is that oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garage sale. Did you well, get any money for anything? Actually, getting it yeah, more just, like a dumpster. Yeah. Okay. So cleaning everything out, getting, getting room for all the new ready. supplies that were coming in, and yeah. then stuff that you needed to hand off to them. Right. right. It sounds like you had to return a bunch well, of stuff. Well, you had to you move too. stuff out, and you know, at the, and, and it, it, it's really a trick doing this because mm-hmm. I mean, they come up with the cargo carriers full, and we're pretty much full. But you got to unload the cargo carrier of all the stuff that's staying behind right. before you can start filling it back up too. Sure. So yeah. You're pulling some stuff out, and you're moving some stuff back in. Right. And uh, Sandy Magnus was the uh, she was the lo- you know logistician. She yeah, was the yeah. loadmaster. Right. You know, and she, yeah, hats she, off. Yeah, what an amazing job she did. So of, she knew where, what had to uh, go where. Oh, she cracked the whip. She was. You know, right. yeah, yeah, she was totally on top of that, and right. it had to be because there's a lot yeah. of stuff, thousands of pounds yeah. of stuff. And then they left. Yep. And again, you talked a little bit about that again. What was your What was your feeling, Mike? Ron talk a little bit about it. When yeah, you, you, sort of uh, you know, it was, we were real busy. Uh, the, the, we had a hard time getting them to even relax. Remember that? Yeah, they had yeah. some time off and they're still working and, and transferring stuff. It's like, mm-hmm. stop, come, you know, come enjoy, enjoy an orbit, a night pass, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they had a hard time just getting them to unwind, which is, uh, I think everybody regrets that when you get home that, you know, you get the work done, but you yeah. need just a little bit of time for you to appreciate right where you where we're at and what's right. going on and and the, you know our our part in this uh you know this grand adventure yeah but you know it, it was it was uh we finally reached the point where everybody's kind of delaying it but it's time to say goodbye mm-hmm. and you know and you know you, you count noses and make sure everybody's on the right <laughs> side of the hatch no ron, ron right. was we trying really it. hard to uh trade me and sandy <laughs> Fergie wouldn't have anything of it. No, Fergie wouldn't hear it. <laughs> but we finally get the hatches closed. And an odd thing, I think this is odd. I don't like it. We closed the hatches the night before. So and so. So they stay docked. You, you, they stay docked overnight. They're right on the other side of the hatch. You could not, you know. Really? Anybody hey, there? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're yeah. still there. But uh-huh. it's, a, it's kind of odd because they're, they're just feet away. But. Now the, the hatches side. are closed. This is That's done. That's it. So it's interesting. We had a we had a, a little bit of a malfunction in our communication system where we could talk to them directly through the intercom, yeah. mm-hmm. but they couldn't talk to us but through the radio. <laughs> so so, so we had a, we had a little fun with it because <laughs> 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 you know we were asking them questions and they had to answer. So the, you know we say, do you miss us yet? You know, <laughs> 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 yes, we miss. You. <laughs> yeah. but, but they had a broadcast on the radio. They so had a broadcast so on the, the radio. ground would hear as well. Yeah, 
Right. So <laughs> we had a little fun with that. But, but it was, you know, when we, clo when we closed that hatch, you know, that, that was pretty significant yeah. because, um, you know, we were closing the hatch that every shuttle, you know, went, you know or most, I guess, of the shuttles yeah. that docked went through, and, and it's going to be a long time before, you know, a vehicle um, docks to that and, and brings up um, astronauts. And so, um, you know, we, we really felt like we were closing a chapter in our space program. We, we were, mm -hmm. and, uh, but we hope that it, it signifies the opening of a new chapter, one which will bring us beyond low Earth orbit, because that's the whole yeah. idea behind the thing. So. Yeah, it's, it's part of the hatch closing ceremony. We had a, a, a space shuttle model that's up there near that, uh, near that docking port, as well as a flag that flew on STS-1. Wow. The very first yeah. shuttle flight. So Fergie and, and that his crew was, brought that up. That was brought up by the Fergie, the 135 crew, and that's right. now installed on that hatch. And it was an, it was an odd thing actually to sit there and say, "Wow, as much traffic as we've had." Yeah. And uh, the big focus in the space station program, the milestones are next shuttle flights. Yeah. You know, and and the next stage, the next piece that you're adding to right. it, and to realize it, you know, it's done. Yeah. We built it. Yeah. And, and not only that, but the shuttle program is done. And mm -hmm. when we close this hatch, then we're closing it, and we don't know what vehicle's going to be the, on the other side of that hatch, nor when. Mm -hmm. And that was, you know, it was a very odd thing, you know, yeah. actually. Uh, the next morning, when they actually did the undocking, uh, I couldn't help myself. I opened up the uh, shutters on, on one of the cupola windows and, and got some photos as they're as they're backing away, you know, I, I, knowing that this this is history, and to me, the way the the the, the Atlantis had that the, the uh, robot arm and the boom yeah. in the grasp of the robot arm, and and just in, in a way of handling the loads and possible um, interference with the jets and stuff, mm -hmm. that thing was kind of crossed over the the payload bay, and to me, it really looked like a salute mm -hmm. of the. Shuttle Atlantis, right. the final mission, as it's backing <coughs> away, it, it's holding a salute to mm -hmm. the station, to the ISS. And, uh, you know, really a salute to the you know, legions of people that have, you know, made that program so successful over the mm -hmm. last 30 years and the, and the, you know, decade of development work before that to bring the shuttle, you know, to flight.